Okay, so you've been uh, engraving a bit and you've run across a file that um, maybe it's not perfectly lined up or perhaps there's a change that you would like to make and you'd like to save it so that the next time you scan that file in the scan book uh, it brings up your changes. Uh, well right now if you open up your files and you should check this on your computer you should uh, hit your save button and it should say cannot save a read-only file. If your uh, file does not say that um, then you're going to use some of these steps to lock down your files. Uh, we have your files locked down so that um, you can't so save over top of them and that way if you're making changes and doing something very unique for a customer you're not going to save over the layout that you're using um, with your display. So uh, what you're going to do then is uh, you're going to make the changes that you need on the file. Um, whatever those changes may be, maybe it's uh, moving you know, the text over, left, right, up, down, you know, whatever it takes. Make those changes and then you're going to go to your desktop. On your desktop you should see a folder that says uh, PGD laser files or PGRAM done laser files. Right click on that folder, select properties, and you'll get a box that pops up and it's going to say read only. Click on that so that there's nothing in that read only box. Hit apply. It's going to ask you if you want to make those changes to uh, everything and yes you do. Apply changes to this folder, subfolders and files. Hit OK. Now you can come back to grab a style and after you've made that change of course you can hit save and it allows you to save. So when I hit the save button it doesn't say anything um, but it is actually saving over top of the uh, original file. Once you've made that change it is very very important that you go back to your desktop back to this uh, menu here and if it's gone if you've clicked OK just right click again on your laser file folder go to properties and I know now it says read only, but uh, actually uh, remove that box, click on it again so you get a little check box in there, and then hit apply. And uh, apply changes to this folder, subfolders, and files. Hit OK. Go back to your program, and just to be certain, hit your save button, and it should pop up and say cannot save a read only file. So that's how you uh, fix your files and fix them so that next time you bring them up, uh, they will be correct for you. Additionally, perhaps you make a layout that is uh, very unique to your store and you want to use our scan book uh, to scan that and bring that up. Uh, this is another way to do that. Uh, if you do come across any problems that need fixing, uh, anything major, uh, do let us know so that we can, uh, we can update our, our master files here, here and that uh, every time we distribute those files, uh, they will be uh, fixed. Thank you very much.